the bottom line is that kids in other countries have leapfrogged American kids. This is the real world. This is a painful conversation, and I understand it's painful, but this is the world that our kids are living in. We're working really well together collaboratively with the governor's office, the Department of Ed, and DSEA together. We're going to put the kids first. We're going to make it happen. And as we do, we're all going to be uh, proud of what we can accomplish here in Delaware. We do these kids a disservice, and we have to fix this. Because when we allow students to fall short, it means we are letting these kids drop out of the American dream. That's really why we're having these conversations. We want you to know where we're going. We want your feedback, your questions. We'd obviously love to have your support. We all know that about 40,000 kids in our state are not making the grade, and one in five don't graduate on time. That's horrible. That's our fault. Here's what scares me. The pace of change in today's business world is accelerating beyond what we've ever imagined. And our school system needs to be keeping pace with that. This is really an, an opportunity for us to engage the community, to hear from students, from teachers, from parents, to tell them a little bit about Race to the Top, some of the changes coming in uh, education, uh, to get their ideas, uh, to really focus on the fact that our responsibility is to students to make sure you're prepared, uh, that when you graduate, you're ready either for secondary education, ready for a career. We all want to be on the same page.